painting. It is a Saturday morning and let's have a little bit of fun with some painting. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I was uh, watching one of the auctions with um, Park West Galleries and I saw that um, Michael Goddard was having quite a bit of art on this one and he just does phenomenal stuff. I, I love some of his, um, some of the ones with the, the wine or the the glass and a lot of the white smoke looking paint around it. Um, so I was just kind of inspired to do something funny. So I'm going to do a olive and strawberry based random painting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick from this, the cube, it's called a color cube. And it's made by Sarah Renee Clark, sorry, I'm trying to get a picture here. And it's just a bunch of random colors. So you've got like, and I'll show you like what the, um, what it should be, and pictures like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one out of the box, as you can see, this huge box. So I'm not gonna know what color scheme I've gotta work with. I'm just gonna not even look at it. I'm just gonna grab one somewhere. And this is the colors that I can use. But before I get to that, because I don't want to have too much of a heads, heads up on it, but over here is a painting. This one is actually for sale. So I'm doing it where I kind of show a painting every every weekend so you can see what kind of collections I have. This is actually one of my watercolors. And I'm going to be doing a sunrise to sunset um, series coming up here in March where there's going to be a um, virtual show with different paintings that are available. But you can definitely purchase them at any time and um, snag it ahead of time. Uh, type me in the comments and I'll get in touch with you. All right, so this is going to be my color. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I'm stoked. Okay, so that's perfect. Because now I can do an amazing sunset with maybe some clouds. And I'm going to have the olive and the strawberry just kind of sitting back on it. So we will set our timer. I have 15 minutes and I must complete it, or complete it in that time. All right, 15 minutes. Okay, that's nice. I can only do those colors. So it's definitely gonna be an autumn looking. Um, so this is an orange base. Tips coming on. All right. So we'll get down some colors to start with. A nice little sunset. I'm doing some sanded surface here. So it makes it kind of nice. It's kind of a reddish one. Let's get in. We'll get our darkers in here when we got the clouds going. earth tones. A little bit different for a full sky, but hey, what the heck? We're just making this up anyway. So I'm just gonna rub it in so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I hope not. You get the first layer down it just kind of goes into the tooth of the paper better. joining us um, please make sure you uh, if you go into StreamYard I'll be able to see your um, your comments otherwise I can't see who you are um, when you're in it but I'm sure we've got someone in there hello um, got some eyeballs okay so let's get some cloud shapes going I 
to make sure I leave enough room for a, to be able to see our stars in the show. I don't want them to have to be too tiny. That won't be very much fun. This will be a good test to see can I make it look authentic with different colors than what is standard in the sky. I'm not usually doing quite an autumn leaf sky, but I was kind of motivated to attempt some clouds. I'm happy I got some colors that at least make somewhat sense. And what I thought I'd do for some fun, since um, Goddard is very big on um, St. Jude's, that's um, a really big charity for him. And I thought I would give it a week and see if anybody has any interest in the painting and a big portion of the sale then would go towards St. Jude's in honor of Mr. Goddard. So if you are interested at all, um, connect with me in the comments, say me, say you want to put in a, an amount and we will keep track and within the week whoever has the highest donation amount will be the one that will get the painting. And then we'll do a donation to um, St. Jude's as well. They do such um, wonderful stuff for, for families and those places you want to know exist, but you don't ever want to have to use them. Okay. Trying to get some dimension going here in the clouds. But like I said, coming up in March, there'll be a little bit more of a preview show, have a little bit more of my sunset sunrises, but you know, I do have some of them on my Facebook now. They're in the um, in the guys area and the files section. You'll see some of the ones that are available right now. I do have a collection already listed. And it's it's a subject that I love to paint. I just I'm very motivated to looking at the skies and the clouds and um, ooh, five minutes. And, you know, the changing and the different colors. I, I just love that. that. That's one of my big things. Actually, in a couple of groups that are clouds, one of them, sunsets, sunrises. It's, it's those things that makes me peek outside a lot for, oh, what does the sunset look like? I usually use my finger, but this paper is so sharp that it'll <laughs> take skin off. So, pretty much have to use something else. All right, let's get some darker in here. Some contrast going. Don't know if any of you out there are painters at all or where you're from. You can type in the comments so I can see that. Can't really make my board yellow, but I want to because it's, it's not an allowable color. I have to stick to a little bit closer to what I see. That's close. That's closer. We'll make it kind of lighter down here. Sun's kind of poking through. Make it brighter over here. Let me just rub most of it off. It's a nice day again. It's not too, too super cold, so that's good. I think it's supposed to be about the 70s or so here. I'm sure some of you guys have uh, snow. 
we're not doing too bad out here in California. We're done with our major rains. So that's good. Oh, we got seven minutes left. Clouds don't look like they got a lot of definition. I should be reserving that red for the strawberry. I'm sorry. Almost coming out more like hills in a valley than my uh, sky. I have to just go with it. Let's give it a horizon. And of course, as typical of me, I'm not very good at straight horizons. Your own problem, so just kind of wait. Like, nope, not working. I've been known to start with a uh, start with an ocean scene and end up in the mountains. So things open to change. Pretty funny because I don't draw quite like he does. He definitely has that skill. Unfortunately, I don't know my bright colors that I'm allowed to use, so it doesn't have a green top. Those are the weird objects, and we can do this. So we can get some green on there. Give it some shine. This one a little bit darker on the side too. <laughs> All right, a little red spot of the 
that time. Do I leave it like that, or do I kill it with trying to attempt some feet on there? <laughs> All right, let's give a little shot on the ground here. Well, let's wait to make sure. Okay, so we got two minutes left. I guess we can attempt some some legs here. All right, let's see. We got some arms reaching out to each other. And holding hands. They're grounded. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I got one minute I can try to fix my mountains a little bit. Do them in threes, so it's, let's say I get enough time. Yeah, that is the 15 minutes. So there's my tribute to Goddard. Um, <laughs> better than I thought it was going to come out. It was uh, definitely a little bit unique. I'm um, sorry, I meant to switch you guys where you could see that a little bit better. Great. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, join me next week. Um, we'll figure out some other interesting subject that we want to do a tribute or a uh, idea of. And like I said, I'm going to give this a week. And if somebody wants to purchase this painting, then I'll just kind of take offers on it and whichever one has the highest amount a uh, big portion of that's going to go sorry, to St. Jude's and we'll be able to get some money over to the charity and you guys will um, have a very unique pain so I will see you next week <laughs> bye Kimberly with Kimberly LeClaire Art <laughs>